Hey there guys, it's your Chef Chris, and today we are making spinach and basil pesto pasta salad. <laughs> Try to say that four times fast. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to start making the pesto. So I ran out to the garden and grabbed some fresh basil that we have growing out there. And um, I washed it and set those aside. Alright, now I'm going to boil my pasta. And instead of using the traditional water and salt, I'm going to actually use chicken stock here. Just add a little more flavor into that pasta. Um, it's going to definitely cost you a little more as we know. Chicken broth is about a dollar a can, which is a little crazy. So if you can make your own chicken broth, of course, do that. It's going to save you some money. All right, so I boiled that for about eight minutes. That's what the pasta called for. And I'm actually using two different kind of pastas here. I'm using a rotini and a mini farfalli, which is just a little bow tie. Of course, it goes without saying you can use any kind of pasta you'd like. Um, we're going to set those aside because I'm actually making this a cold pasta. So I made the pasta first, put that in the fridge. Actually, I just put it at room temperature right now and uh, let it cool down. Now in a food processor, it's time to make the pesto. I'm using about two cups here of the basil uh, versus about a cup of spinach. Now I'm giving you rough estimates here because I never really measure out my ingredients to make pesto. I just taste and adjust. Needs more garlic, throw in more garlic. Needs more nuts, throw in more nuts. I'm using walnuts here instead of the traditional pine nuts. Just because I'm throwing pine nuts in the salad, I figure I give it a little bit of a change there. And as you saw, I threw in about three cloves of garlic. Now I gave that a quick pulse, and once everything was nicely chopped, I'm adding about roughly a cup, a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to give that another quite nice pulse, and while that is pulsating, uh, it's time to drizzle in that extra virgin olive oil. And uh, once I got a nice consistency here, because it is a cold pasta, I'm actually going to squeeze in uh, roughly about a half a cup of mayonnaise. Now you can up it, you can down it, you can omit the uh, the mayonnaise if you'd like but I like the way uh, the nice uh, texture and just the flavor it gives to it and I'm also going to squeeze in about half of a large lemon here uh, just to stop it from oxidizing turning brown that's a big thing with pesto it definitely turns brown fast and if you're not going to eat this pasta right away might as well do that all right now uh, as you tell I threw in it's time to mix everything together. So I didn't add all the pasta and I didn't add all the pesto because I want to eyeball it and adjust. Make sure it's not too much pasta or too much pesto. So as you can tell, I threw in a little more pasta because it was a little bit wet. And uh, once everything was incorporated, I threw in about half a cup of fresh grated Parmesan cheese. And uh, incorporated that, gave that a nice stir. And I also threw in some pine nuts, as you saw there. That was why I used walnuts, actually, in my pesto. Once everything was mixed finely together, it's time to throw in some fresh... Actually, I did not use fresh peas. I'm actually using frozen peas because the fresh peas I saw at the store weren't, weren't too good. So uh, fresh peas... I mean, Frozen peas is totally fine. They're still sweet. They're delicious. As you saw, I threw in some grape tomatoes there. I sliced them in half. And uh, we were done. I put that in the fridge for about an hour to cool down. And it was time to plate. And this is just a great salad for summer. You know, it's so hot outside right now. Nothing better than a nice refreshing salad. You can even add some chicken, some shrimp, anything else you would like to add to this pasta just to class it up a little more. And, um... Uh, of course, I topped it off a little more Parmesan cheese, and let me tell you, it was delicious. Beautiful. All right, guys, well, that was my pesto pasta spinach basil salad. And if there's any recipes you guys would like to learn how to make, let me know. Thank you, and enjoy.